Hello. Today I'm going to discuss some improvements which we've made to the cross-project planning feature in Rational Team Concert. A cross-project plan is basically a plan which contains items which in turn tracks items in other separate plans. The first improvement which we've made is we have increased the level of drill down which is shown on a plan. We do this by introducing a depth attribute. So when you open a plan in edit mode and you have a display option set, you also see a depth of tree displayed attribute associated with it. Currently it's set to 3. For this plan, which is a cross project plan, this means that the level of drill down shown on the plan is set to 3. Let's expand the plan to see what I mean. So here we can actually see that on the plan we have three levels of drill down. So the first level is the item itself which belongs to the plan. It's called track product 1. The second level is basically a set of products which are being tracked by track product 1. So it's product 1 version 1. Now product 1 version 1 in turn tracks two other stories and this constitutes our third level. So in this way, for the rest of the plan, we actually show a drill down of 3. The depth attribute is also configurable, so the user can click this drop down to set the value of the depth anywhere between 2 to 5 or all, which brings in all the tracked elements. Another improvement which we've made is the introduction of plan checks, which can be used to assess the health of a cross-project plan. To do this, we need to add a plan check attribute to the plan and select the cross project planning problems check. By enabling this plan check we see a set of warning against items in the plan. These warnings are nothing but the cross project planning problem checks. In total there are three checks and we can understand the three checks by hovering over one of the items. So this item basically has all the three checks enabled. The first check tells you that the iteration that the item has been planned for ends before the rolled up schedule end date. The second check tells you that the work item is due on a date which is before the rolled up schedule end date. The third check basically tells you that the item which is being tracked in this plan has been planned for an iteration which ends before the end date of the iteration of this plan itself, which is the cross project plan. The third feature which I would like to show you is the ability to write date expressions to filter or colorize items on your plan. Let's just add a colorizer attribute for all items on the plan. So I say more colors and now I can actually type a date expression. So let's just say I type creation date. Now when I type creation date you can see that it's already giving me a set of samples which I can type in. So we support two types of expressions. The first one is an absolute date expression and the second one is a relative date expression. Let's try the absolute date expression first. So let's type a date of March 18th and we see that all items which have been created on March 18th are colored. In this case all items on the plan have been colored. Similarly we can also use less than and greater than options so if I say less than March 17th they're not colored. Another way of entering expressions is relative expressions. So if I say today, since today is the March 18th, we see that all the items have been colored. But if I say today minus one, we see that all items lose their color since they've been created today. This too supports the less than and greater than options. So if we say greater than today minus one, we see that they again get their color options. We can also use filters similar to colorizers. The only difference being that with filters, all the items which satisfy the parsed expression would be filtered out of the view. So that's it. We just saw a demonstration of the increased drill down on cross project plans, the introduction of three cross project plan checks, as well as the ability to write date expressions to colorize or filter items on a plan. Thanks for watching.